Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 16th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. Now, in the previous tutorials we've discussed uh, quite a lot of commands and I haven't kept account but we've discussed more than 20 commands for sure. And uh, we have reached the point now where we can begin our discussion on shell programming. Now, a shell script is nothing but a file that has a few commands in it and uh, the commands are executed in the same order as they are specified in the file. In this tutorial we're going to learn to create a, tech, uh, a script file and then we learn to execute a script file using the terminal and uh, we learn a few more things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open my text editor program and uh, generally when we create our first program the thing that we do is we learn to display a string of text on screen and in Unix the way you do that is uh, by using the command echo now before I type in any text in my file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my file and I'm gonna save it in the home folder and I'll call it ss1 and I'll give it an extension sh now the extension does not hold any value for the operating system but it's for me to know that this file is a script file in case I uh, later check my directory it will help me distinguish this file from the other text files that I have uh, in my directory so there you go you can be more elaborate with the names but this is the convention that we're gonna follow in this course uh, in the second tutorial if I prepare a script file I'll call it SS2 in the next one I'll call it SS3 so that's how we're gonna go but uh, you can basically put any name there so that's it and when I save this file with the SH extension my text editor knows that this is a script file so you know it would uh, display some of the uh, keywords in my program in different ink and uh, you'll, you'll see that uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the echo command and within double quotes I'll put in a message that I wish to display so I'll just put in hello world since uh, that's the thing that we learned to display and uh, that's it it's as simple as that I don't have to put a semicolon at the end I don't have to do anything my script file is ready and uh, another thing that we're gonna learn in this tutorial is to use comments in our script files now you get a comment in your file by putting the hash character and then uh, you can type in anything like uh, this is my first oops, uh, shell script and I can save this file now if you wish to have uh, a comment that spans over multiple lines uh, then you have to put a hash at the beginning of each line of your comment you it's it's different from other languages like C or C++ in which you can put a slash and an asterisk as the uh, first two characters in your comment and then you can put a an asterisk and a slash at the end of your comment and it can spread over 15 lines it's uh, you know it's different here you'll have to put a hash uh, as the first character in each line of your comment so that's it my file is ready and I can see in my home folder that it's there it's called ss1.sh and it's looking pretty now how do you execute a file a script file that is you'll have to use the command sh now sh is a built-in program that is used by the shell to execute script files and uh, what you have to do is you have to type in sh give a space and then type in the name of the file the program that you've created and in this case it is ss1.sh and when I press the enter key I get my string of text it's as simple as that isn't it very simple so there you go uh, we learned to create a shell script we also learned to execute a shell script we learned how to put comments in our shell scripts in the next tutorial we're gonna learn how to use other commands in our shell script and um, from here on we'll be increasing the complexity of the course slightly and uh, I'll try to do that gradually so that you people uh, you know stay at par and uh, 
you guys can also do research at your own end and learn about the commands that we've discussed that is learn more and you can uh, see man pages of the commands that we've discussed and you know learn about the options that we haven't discussed in this course but come along with the commands and uh, that's that's you know that's basically the approach that you should follow and uh, nobody is a master but you can become one if you practice and um, well was that a quotation it was a bad one I shouldn't have uh, said that but it's okay that's uh, it for this tutorial I'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel